time to name it. Planetune. Kinda weird. The second stripe cannot be white, apparently. What if I? Uh. Yeah, apparently, it just wants to be really freaking dark. Rocket is done. Let's see if the growing is done as well. Uh, oh, right, save. Auto save, yeah. No, they are still growing. Should I just come back once it's once they're ready or something? You could go check out the giants in the void and turn creative. Oh yeah, now. that does mean I'm basically immortal, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we might as well go take a look at them. We have the time. Hey, Seamount. And someday I might just grab some of the more cheaty mods like, you know, like the alchemy mod and the one that makes it so that you can get even more upgrades for the C mod. You know, just run through it again for the achievements maybe. Hmm. There's a bunch of events over there. I So now, you, now is when I would need an auto run <laughs> button, right? Actually, that's a good question. I'm immortal, but what about the C mod? No, it's still slow. Yeah, it's still slow. I thought there might nope. have been another cheat or something, but... I mean, I can probably just drop this, uh, like, leave the simot as soon as we get there, right? They'll destroy the simot. Yeah, I mean, well. like, leave the simot right at the edge of the void. Yeah, you could do that. I mean, it's not like I have to take care of oxygen or anything either, so... Have to see like a bit further and see them. Because that couldn't possibly go wrong. Alright, oh, the uh, sharks will still attack the same mod. Should probably pay attention to that. Is it becoming night time? It's becoming night. It's a bad time for it to be coming to be the night time. It's a really bad time for it to be night time. Hmm. 
Now that I think about it, that other alien area was also very close to the void. Yeah, it's nighttime now, that. That's kind of a problem for actually, you know, visibility and all of that. Oh, look! I can see the icon of my Cyclops right underneath me. <laughs> oh, well, I'll just follow the ground until there is no ground. That should work, right? Sort of. Maybe. I could probably take the same mode into that sideways small pool now that I think about it. <laughs> I don't think he would appreciate that. <laughs> it's a bit hard to tell where it ends. Oh hey, it's the alien entrance! Yay! Goodlefish egg discovered. What? How do you mean discovered? It probably uh, hatched. Ah, so now, now if I looked at a goodlefish egg, it would tell me what it's for. Is that what you mean? Right, I'm getting real close to the edge of the map, so I think this is a good time to leave the sea mode. Yeah, that definitely looks like the void. Bion became blue. Bayon on the map, that's kinda weird. Expect it to be black like black or something. I don't see any lights yet. Maybe I need to go deeper. Wait, those are sea traders. Huh. Am I like I guess I had more space than I thought I did. Space, room, whatever. Just get into the same mode. Yeah, Check I just forgot that, this, that the map scrolled. At least I know that Citrader territory is safe, so this is a good place to, you know, leave the sea mod once I find the edge. Hello, Citraders! Don't worry, I won't bother you. That does look like the edge. Yeah, that's the edge, alright. It outright stops showing any map. And it goes down, and down, and down. Um, this is really bl This is really dark. I have yet... I don't see anything low here. Entering ecological dead zone. 
I don't see anything. Oh, I see something now. That's uh, pretty big and pretty glowy. Uh, you're right, it just stops bothering me as soon as I cross back to the... And, you know, back to the sea traders. Yeah. yeah, three of them will spawn. I only saw one of them, but... Time. Okay. Well, they spawn in intervals, uh, but you'll see three of them at a time, at one point, and... It, it yeah. kind of scary. Yeah, I, I, fig I can figure that. It would be really scary that actually look like it could probably just eat my Simot in one go. Right, back to base. Oh, hey, Doc, did you forget to mute yourself again or something? Oh, that's not so bad. Okay. Yeah, that could have happened in five minutes, but... I'm almost back to the lava castle. Oh, cool. I went to the void, in case you didn't hear. <laughs> yeah, I heard they... that. They big. big they? And they are even yeah, more glowy than the normal there. Ghost Leviathans. Really? I require that you go out there yeah, before you... even if you get into creative mode. No, 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 no creative mode. I require okay, that he no. does it in a normal mode. I mean, look on the right side, though. <laughs> the moment you go back out of the void, they will leave you alone. But I don't want it. It's such a good way to make sure you stay in yeah, the Yeah, it's... I, I, I like it. Instead of just an invisible, it's like, hey, you're gonna die if you go out here. <laughs> and to be fair, most games like this actually make the world visible and make some convoluted reason as to why it's there. And why you can't cross it or something like that. Kuna. And I love the reason Subnautica just, gave you. don't. Don't. <laughs> just you're don't. You're gonna don't. die. <laughs> Not because an invisible world says so, but because those things. Spade fish egg discover, crash fish egg discover. A passive crash fish. Hmm. Passive and crash fish. Those two things don't go together. Anyway, some of the eggs are still hatching, but the important one just finished. Fish. Wait, no, I, I don't want to pick it up. I want to play with it. How do I? Oh. You have to take it outside to play with it. There's a. Uh... And once you take it outside, you can't pick it up. I also have a rabbit ray. So you know. That's also adorable. Hoverfish still have my favorite face. Yes, fish are our fish are adorable. Like out of also, I don't see the crash fish. Did did it just blow itself up before I arrived? Oh, never mind. I see it now. Yeah, it's just passively swimming. Anyway, I'm gonna pick one of my two color fish. And take it out to play. Oh, so cute. 
Yay. Did you get that cricket? <laughs> That's adorable. Let me play with it again. Oh, did you get that cricket? What happens if I say if I say farewell to it? I guess it doesn't want to play with me once I say farewell. Like it just slaps, slaps my hand. Oh well. Yep. Time to leave. Wait. No. Before I leave. I'm gonna grab the other cuddlefish oh. and take it with me. Grant. No, Grant, before you leave, uh, there is something that you have to do. Pick what oh, you yeah, want to give the next player. Then the rocket. Find wow. the time capsule. Okay. You can give them anything. So I can give them the crash fish. <laughs> that would be so mean. Yes. And then you get to write a okay. message to them. How about fish? Come with me. Yay. Those two fish I'm gonna take with me. What I'm going to send on the capsule is actually something useful. Let's see, where's my farm? Grab a yell sack. Grab blue oil. Grab an acid mushroom. And grab a diff from one of each. Right. Now, where's the time capsule inside the rocket or? Where is the capsule? What? Is it? Ah, so it's inside. It should the be on the top floor. Right? Okay. Yeah. Give it elevator. So high up, very very high up. the rocket uh, climb ladder I guess can you imagine if you ha if you have been able to do this without disabling the <laughs> the security system anyway prepare time capsule No blue oil or no gel sack. Hmm. You know what? Stasis rifle. Also, as in mushroom and this room. Actually, no acid. Why would I? Why would I bring the acid from? Here, have a gel sack. I don't tell it from. And my stasis rifle. I mean, I could add the repulsion cannon instead, but I think the stasis rifle is more useful. Image. Oh, yeah, I need an image.
Or let me go stasis something so I can... Rocket. Jump down. Ah, it actually makes the dive animation. That's nice. Well, I say dive animation. Right, now to find something to stasis. Because, you know, I can't just stasis the ground, that clearly doesn't work. Do I take a screenshot? Uh, there's one of the F buttons. F12, F6, one mm. of them. That's for Steam, but... Just, yeah, that takes a screenshot. Okay, now we have a screenshot. Um, okay, one of those buttons disabled the interface. There we go. It was F11, by the way. Yeah, yeah I can remember. Right, um, not, not what I meant to do. But that might also make a good screenshot. Uh, let's switch it to a full battery. Because I'm not a Yerk. Bone shark egg, sun shark egg, and pill egg, that's okay. I don't feel like going back to play with all of those. Yet. Wish I could just make a separate save file so I can go back and do that, but... Oh well. And the rocket. Climb the ladder. The time capsule. Select the image. There we go. Capsule ready, how do I send it? Ah, okay. it, it drops it when you start flying. There it is. 
Okay, what else do I need? Nice support systems, primary computer. What of the primary CPU? Primary computer systems active. Activate life support. Actually, I guess I need to go back down for the other systems. Hydraulic systems. Pressurizing hydraulics. Communication survey. Communication and auxiliary power. Take a nice look at my adorable hoverfish. Um, oh, I cannot put the cuttlefish in an inventory space. That's kind of um, annoying. And shrug it. I'm a janitor, how am I operating this? Ready to launch Just pressing the random buttons hoping it will work. Launching. Ten. <laughs> nine, eight, Just bears randomly standing on the top of the five, rocket. Four, three, two, one. Yeah, I knew weather at the end, huh? Really? Orbital debris field clear. Okay. Performing gravity turn maneuver. Okay, so <laughs> I had an energy shield that 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 didn't go well. Confirm destination coordinates. Nearest interstellar phase gate. It would be kind of amusing it ha if it had been like. Congratulations, you just finished the tutorial, now you can explore all of space! Two, one. No, no, no. Would amuse me though. <laughs> but it would be kind of contrary to the game itself. What is a way without the ocean? A beginning. They are different, but they go together. Now you go among the stars, and I go among the sand. We are different, but we go I will you, always remember you, Simon. Probably. Ah, and that was the end of Subnautica. The only thing I didn't do was swim around with, with the sharks inside my pool. But something tells me that might have gotten a bit clogged given that one of the things I grew in there was the crab snake. It would have been fine. Mm, yeah, I made like five floors of filing containment, but... That was a lot of pretty big fish. Anyway. I guess that's the end of the game. I hope you have fun. 
and I'll see you for the next game, which is probably going to be Pray for the Gods. Bye! If the recording will stop. Ha ha ha.